Hey everybody, so today I'm here to do our final baby haul. This is stuff that either we bought ourselves or you guys sent us or people that we know sent us. I'm also going to be including some of the gifts that we got from our baby sprinkle as well in here. Now I also will be doing a what we got off our registries haul because that is two big giant orders that are on their way from Target and also Amazon, but those are kind of separate. That was us using gift cards and registry completion coupons and stuff. So, and it's gonna be a lot of things. So that's gonna be a video in and of itself. And I just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff I accumulated. Now in this first clip, what you're seeing me as right now, I'm just gonna show you what we've bought so far. I'm doing that so I'm able to go ahead and put some of this stuff away because it's really starting to bug me that I can't utilize some of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And in a couple of days, I'm gonna film the rest of it because because I am expecting a couple more things in the mail, like a breast pump, stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys what we've gotten so far. Well, besides the registry stuff, but this was before that. So the very first thing was this Bella Baby breast pump. Now this is something that you guys recommended a lot that you wanted me to review and try for you guys. And it was actually on an Amazon Lightning deal. So I snagged it right up. Now this breast pump is normally around, I think $60 maybe 80 max, I can't really remember. So I didn't buy it right away and I'm glad I didn't because since I bought this on the lightning deal, which it was around $40 after tax and everything, so it was a really good deal, I have noticed it on lightning deals every once in a while, like at least a couple more times since then. And I ordered this probably a few weeks ago. So it is on there fairly regularly, at least for right now. That's what they're kind of doing. But I did want to mention this. I am really excited because after you guys recommended this to me, it turns out that my neighbor actually uses this pump and likes it. And she had a lot of great things to say about it. She even let me play around with hers. I didn't like actually try it or anything. I just kind of messed around with the motor, but it did look like a pretty good quality pump. So I thought I would go ahead and you guys will be seeing a review and also how to videos about this pump. So you can look forward to that. So that was the first thing. And then I also went ahead, this was another lightning deal and I got these microfiber waterproof change pad liners. Now I got these because these should fit our pack and play perfectly. The changing table on there is like, I don't know, exactly this shape. So I got these in gray, you kinda can't tell, but this is actually the side that goes up. This is like the bottom side. So they do have three different layers of protection, but these had really good reviews and it was a lightning deal and they were, I think quite a few dollars cheaper than what they typically are. So I wanted to go ahead and get those. And these are a lot more plush than the ones that we own. As you can see, there's three in there and it is pretty thick. So these seem like bigger, better quality than the ones that we typically have. We have the Munchkin ones, which are good. And I plan on using those too, but I don't think I have very many left after both the girls using them. And I also did want something specific for the pack and play change pad because it is bigger and those munchkin ones did not reach from end to end so i wanted something that is supposed to fit exactly on there and i will link this stuff for you guys too in case you need to buy any of it or you want to add it to your registry i will have it down there for you guys and the next thing i got was actually off my registry but i'm not gonna i didn't use the completion coupon i'm not gonna put that in there i actually want to put these away right now but i went ahead and i got the lance snow soothe pads if you guys watched my registry video you'll know that i had these on there they completely took them off i could not find a listing i was really really scared that they were just done completely and by the looks of it i do think they just changed their packaging i'm hoping that's all they did because i loved the original ones so please don't mess with what's not broken but I also got these not only because I was scared to lose them again, but also because they were on super sale. They were like $5 a box, which is pretty great. They are typically around like $8 on Amazon, which is still, in my opinion, a pretty good deal compared to some of the other ones. However, they went down to like $5 and I was like, you know what, you know, I'm going to save less waiting and it going back to eight dollars and using 15 percent off than if i just bought them right now at five dollars so i went ahead and did that but i want to stick those in my fridge ready to go next up i saw this was going to be released for lulu and company and i just 
I, I had to. I'm obsessed with this color. I love this color. And I went ahead and I got this launch of this color. I got the swaddle blanket and I also got the bow. I'm not huge into bows on babies. I just prefer hats in the beginning and after hats, I find it difficult for them to keep anything on their head that doesn't just directly go into their mouth. However, I thought for like pictures and stuff, it would be cute. This one does look really thick and nice and comfortable, um, but I also really wanted the blanket. I mean, how gorgeous is this? This reminds me a lot of the color of my Solly baby wrap that I'm also obsessed with. So I went ahead and I got it and we do have another Lulu and Company swaddle blanket that is basically the same kind of texture, this rib texture, except it was in like a burgundy color. And I already have that washed and ready to go. And I'm really excited to have another one because it feels like a good quality kind of thing. But yes, I did get those. I love, love that color. And then something specifically for the hospital bag, I got this off of Etsy. I'm gonna go ahead and try and get this card out of here. I will also link the Etsy shop down below too. I'll link the listing for the Lulu company. I'll put everything down there for you guys if you just want to directly get to these things. But this I got off of Etsy and it's from My Amelia Co. This is what the logo looks like. So there's that. Like I said, I will put her Etsy shop down below, but it's just this knit little hat that's got a bow. This is exactly what I was looking for. I just wanted a hat that also had a bow on it, but I really couldn't find anything that I liked. A lot of them were the hospital hats that have the bows, which are cute, but I really like this one. And even when I showed Mark this, he was like, wow, that is so cute. And it does look really big, but I give birth to big headed babies. <laughs> they come out in the 99th percentile for head circumference and they stay that way their entire lives. So I got, I think it was the zero to three month size. So she can wear this for quite a while, but I am so excited to put this on her. So, so excited. I mean, how adorable is that? So I don't know if it's something that I'll put on her like right after birth or anything. It might be just something that she goes home in. And then the last thing before the baby clothes that we've bought is this Docatot cover. You guys know that I use the Docatot with Remy. We loved it, but the only thing I didn't love was not having an extra cover. The covers have to air dry, which I don't care about. I air dry a lot of my laundry actually because it's better for it. It lasts longer because of it. However, it does take a while to dry around 12 hours. So for me, it would have been a lot more useful to have an extra cover. The covers can get expensive though. So for that reason, I stocked eBay for the print that I wanted. I was really after this print and it is one of the more expensive ones, I think, at least on their website maybe, but I was able to find this and get it shipped for $65, which I thought was actually a pretty good deal if you know anything about Docatot covers, but I went ahead with this print. It's the navy floral print. It's just beautiful. It is seriously so gorgeous. I can't wait to take this out and put it on our Docatot. I'm going to put this one on and take the other one off and kind of use that as the spare. But I really like this one. It'll go really great with our room because our room is navy. But yes, I was so excited because it is a hard print to find. I was even willing to go secondhand, but as you can see, eBay had it sealed in a box for $65. So I was very very excited with that. Yeah, the next clip is going to be stuff that you guys so graciously sent us or companies sent me and I'll be sharing that. Hey guys, so now I'm here for the second part of this for things from our baby sprinkle, things that you guys sent us, stuff like that. I'm just going to go ahead and get started because I do have several things. I guess I'll start with the stuff from my baby sprinkle. Both my mother-in-law and my aunt both handmade a blanket for Lexi, which I love because both of them have done that for each girl. So therefore each girl has two handmade blankets by the same people. I just think that's really cool. But this one was made by my mother-in-law and you can't really tell the shape because it's way too big for me to hold up entirely, but it is a star shape. You guys know that those are really sentimental to us, but I love the color she chose for this. So bright and cute. So that's the first one. And then my aunt made this one. And she had a really cute pattern on this one too. And they've both done different patterns for each girl, which is also pretty unique. But yes, both of these 
love these to death and the girls have loved their blankets growing up too so i know lexi's gonna love them and then we got a quite a bit of clothes at the shower so i'm just gonna go ahead and hold them up and show you guys i'm not gonna really say much about them obviously they're all cute they're all baby clothes these are socks that have little puffs on them so i'm just not gonna say anything i'm just gonna hold it all up and you guys can just see how cute everything is and we did get a few different sizes like these ones are zero to three months and then i think we got like a six month outfit somewhere and also um, newborn clothes stuff like that these are some pants to go with those onesies and then these onesies look how cute those are and these are the gerbic or Ger gerbic <laughs> these are the gerber organic is what i was trying to say but look how cute these are what i say about saying cute i said i wasn't gonna say it but this is on the other side. And what's this gray one have on it? Oh, it's polka dots. So yeah, nice little three pack. Those are newborn. And then these are newborn as well, which we actually got the side snap onesies of these. So I already have pants and stuff, which is really awesome. And this one's just striped. I think this one says something on the other side. Yeah. And then there's this one. And then the floral one and I really like the sleeves on all of these this kind of tech I don't know what this is called but I remember I had a lot of clothes like that growing up and I was a 90s kid so I don't know what that's called but I really like to see it as a comeback because I loved that stuff and then this is one of the little outfits that has the little foot the little footies and then a onesie and a little bib and then there's this onesie which just speaks for itself or <laughs> got a real good laugh out of that one and then this is kind of like a whole outfit that also comes with a headband so it's this onesie and then it comes with these pants and then it has like a matching headband so that is all of the clothes and then some of the other stuff that was handmade my niece Jasmine started her own little boutique and she made matching bows for Lexi. I don't have all of them here. Some of them are packed in the hospital bag, but all the girls have all matching bows. So thank you, Jasmine. And then I just wanna call her friend because honestly, that's what I've always called her. Basically the older sister of one of my closest friends growing up. She made me a sign. So when I say my friend, that's literally what I mean. But she went ahead and made us the sign, which I love. Like it's just, it's so simple but i love it both mark and i can't wait to hang this up he actually asked me last night if he could hang it up in here in her room and i was like no i have to make a video first and show it off so there's that and then we did get a couple of things off of our registry got the vava baby night light i'm so excited to charge this up and put it on my nightstand so there are several different versions of the vava light i think just like kind of different generations but the one that i got and what it looks like is this and basically it's just a night light where when you tap it it turns off it's supposed to be like a nice subtle light so it's not really obnoxious lighting up the whole room but you can still see a good bit of what you're doing which is exactly what i was looking for so i'm super excited to charge this thing up and get it going and that's the thing is it does run off of basically a rechargeable battery so they give you a little cord and then we also did get the humidifier and this was from my very close friend connor so thank you connor and she also gave us 20 dollars towards our diaper fund on our baby registry which we used for that as well and then from jocelyn she sent us this and this was the kinza thermometer that i was talking about video i can't remember but basically you guys recommended this to me off of instagram and it logs baby's temperatures and stuff like that we needed a new rectal thermometer so i'm really excited to use that and then she also did send me one of the boon bottles which i'll take this out so you guys can see exactly what i was talking about in that video so basically you can see there's this shell on the outside that's hard plastic but right here this is the liner that's inside and that's what's silicone and i'm not sure about the nipples i'll put something kind of along the bottom here i'll figure out if they're silicone or not but these look so interesting so yes thank you jocelyn and then from the dillings they sent these cute little hats look 
look at those. I only took them out of the baggies just for this video so they wouldn't reflect. But these are so stinking cute. I mean, come on. And you can tell how much work and love goes into all these handmade things and I appreciate that so so much so thank you guys. And then from Savannah which wraps up kind of the last bit of things before I get into the things that companies have sent me and she sent the OXO bottle brush which is my absolute favorite so thank you so much for that. And then she also sent the vapor pads which is what you can stick inside of the humidifier that I showed you and it's got menthol and everything to make it easier to breathe and then also my juvie nude nipples. So thank you so much to you as well, Savannah. But yeah, now I'm just gonna hop over into what companies have sent me. These are all things that will have reviews coming up, so make sure you stay tuned for those. And I'm just gonna kind of grab the first thing that I've been dying, dying to break into, and that is this Molly Ollie diaper caddy. I showed this on my Instagram, but this diaper caddy I'm so excited to use. It's got this little pocket right here that you can put other stuff in. It comes with a divider so you can decide how you want it divided up. It's like this nice felt structured good quality diaper caddy. I do not know what happened to ours and I also do have a promo code for you guys to use. These are available on Amazon so if you want one of these go ahead check that out and I'll put the promo code right here for you guys as well. So thank you, thank you so much Ivy. So nice of you and I've been dying to just dive into this thing, pack it up, get it all ready. And then from Nano Baby, they went ahead and sent me like this little package with a bunch of their goodies and it is so cute. It's packaged really nicely. They had a nice little heartfelt letter in there as well. So this is what it looked like when it came, but they did give me a few of their breast milk storage bags, which I got more myself. So I can put those in a review for you guys. And then they also did send me one of their bottles. I know a lot of you wanted me to try these. So I'm very excited for that. And then they also sent their warming bowl, which I am very eager to get my hands on and really see how this thing works. And then I also ordered one more accessory so I can kind of do like a collective review of their system and how I think it works and stuff like that. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Of course, I will be doing a breast milk storage bag video. Their breast milk storage bags will be in that. But yes, thank you so much. Next up is Cami over at Pump Strap went ahead and sent me this bra. It is the Plus Cup. So this is one I haven't reviewed before. This is one that I think I'm just like the other ones gonna love, but I am also going to review it for you guys as well. If you've been around for a while, you know Pump Strap is one of my two favorite hands-free pumping bras, but I never got around to trying out the Plus Cup before I went and weaned. So I'm very excited for this as well. And then Motif sent me a few goodies, one of which I already have in my hospital bag, but it was a C-section postpartum garment. So I kind of already stuck that in my hospital bag. If you guys are interested in seeing that, stay tuned for that video, but they sent me that. They also sent me this pregnancy support band, which is just a tad too small for me. This is the size large and that's as high as it goes. I just needed a couple more inches to be comfortable. So I'm gonna pass this along to somebody. Even though it didn't fit me, I could tell it was really gonna help. Honestly, I've never had a pregnancy band. I've never bought one. People have told me to. I never really thought it would help. But even with this not fitting well, I can see why people suggest them because it like immediately helped me with some of the weight of my belly and it made my back feel better and just all around like I just kind of felt normal for a second. So I totally understand pregnancy bands and I think that if they had my size, I'd be all over this. And then also Motif was nice enough to send me their Luna Pump, which I'm so excited for. So many of you wanted me to review this. I wanted to review this. You guys know that the Motif Duo is my second most recommended pump. It's like my second favorite. It was something that I absolutely loved when I was EPing with Remy. And then when I saw they came out with this one, I was like, oh man, I need to get my hands on it because if it's anything like the duo, I know it's just going to be pure love. So I 
again, am so excited for this. I know I keep saying that, but I really am. Honestly, when it comes to breastfeeding stuff and the advances that keep getting made and new products that come out, it does make me very eager to try things for you guys. And when companies are nice enough to send me products like this, it allows me to test more stuff for you guys. You guys know that I'm thorough. I review for a month. I give my honest opinion, pros and cons. Obviously, I don't have the funds to go ahead and review every single thing that's on the market. So when companies are able to do this, it helps me out a lot. It allows me to spend my money elsewhere and review even more stuff for you guys. And then something that is so sentimental to me, something that just absolutely warmed my heart the second I got the email, was from Solly Baby. They wanted to send me their new Rainbow Baby print, but basically it's kind of like this dark taupe color that has little white rainbows all over it. It's something that's so subtle but so beautiful. I love my Solly Baby wrap with Remy, the one that we bought, so it's like a no-brainer. Of course I love Solly Baby wrap, but they reached out to me. They knew my story. They wanted me to share my story and stuff like that, and just the things that they had to say to me just absolutely I don't know, like I said, wore my heart. It meant a lot to me. So thank you so much, Solly Baby. That was amazing. And I can't wait to put my rainbow baby in my rainbow wrap. And this last thing is going to be available for a limited amount of time. And I'm gonna get into that after I show you guys what it is. But it is the Mommy's Tail Breast Pump. And I don't know if it was one of you over here on YouTube or somebody over on Instagram, but you guys recommended this as an alternative to the Baby Buddha. As you know, the Baby Buddha can be pretty expensive. And when I checked this one out, it was around $80 on Amazon. So, you know, fairly big price difference there. They were very kind and they sent one to me, but they also let me know that once their stock on Amazon runs out, they are done. They will no longer be selling this pump. So for that reason, if you are interested at all in pumps that may be similar to this one, I urge you to go get this one while you can. I will have everything that I'm talking about linked down below for you guys, like I said earlier. So go ahead and check that out. But I'm still going to be doing a review. I will still be doing a how-to video on it just in case any of you get a hold of this second hand or you buy it but you're not going to use it for a few months and you know you need a how-to video stuff like that so i'm still going to be doing videos even if it's to only a very few amount of people i still want to make the videos that i can to be helpful but yes that is everything for this video i think that about wraps it up i just want to say a huge thank you to you guys to everyone who came to our shower to these companies just everything it means so much the only things after this that I'm gonna have to show you guys are from us completing our baby registry, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks for watching.